Hi, today in the kitchen we're, have, we're serving a spicy venison on a bed of hush puppy straws. And you may not have heard of hush puppy straws. This is a great way to serve hush puppies. Instead of serving them nice and thick, these are going to be long and thin and really crunchy, almost like a funnel cake. They're really fun to make and I think you'll enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use our hush puppy mix with um, onions, just one box, and then we're going to add water. And you want to make these a little bit more runny than um, the regular hush puppies when they firm, you know, when you mix those together, they're pretty firm and you can handle them. You want to make these more like a cake batter, not quite, or like, maybe like a muffin mix. So we're going to mix this together and then we're going to put these in a large um, zip top bag and um, that way we can use that as our um, kind of like a pastry bag so that you can squeeze it out. So we're going to mix this together. And this looks pretty good. You can see it's more like a muffin mix um, thickness because you want it to be thin so it can go through that bag. And then we're going to take our zip top bag, and I like to fold mine down, especially when you don't have anybody to help you. Just fold it down and make a little bowl like that. And then we're going to pour our mix into here. And this is something that's just kind of fun to make. It's a little bit different. And I was making them and they were, they're so good and they're nice and crunchy. Just a little bit different way to make your hush puppies. Kind of fun. And then we just close up our bag. And you want to squeeze all the air out of it. And then you want to work it down into one of the corners, just like you would if you were making, you know, icing in a pastry bag. And then you're ready. We're just going to snip off the end and then we're ready to, to go. So let's take our um, lid off and let's drop a little bit in here just to make sure that we're ready to go. And I think we are. All right. So we're going to snip off the end of our bag. And you don't want to snip it off too big or they'll come out. Well, it depends on how big you want yours. And then we just drop them in. And then if you drop a lot in at one time, then they're going to kind of stick together more like a, a funnel cake would. But um, you just cook them until they're golden brown and they cook up really fast because they're small. And then you can just top kind of like a palm frite. You know, when you go to a, a, like a French restaurant and they have those really thin, um, crispy French fries on top or the real thin onions on top. It's kind of like that. But we decided that or I decided that it would be fun to serve our venison on those. Or you can do fish on them or duck. Just something a little different and it adds such great flavor to them. See, they're cooking up really quickly and you just continue to do that. You want to make sure though that your oil is nice and hot, about 375 before you start. Otherwise, they'll just kind of float in your oil and kind of absorb that oil and they'll be, they won't be very good. So you don't want to have oily ones. You want to have nice crispy ones. You just want the outside. So see, they're nice and golden brown and beautiful. And they're really great. They're lots of fun to make. And then we're just going to put those alongside of our venison. Instead of serving french fries or onion rings, with this you're getting the both. You're getting the flavor of the onion and then that great hush puppy flavor too. So, and then with our venison, what I did with that is I just, um, just repeat, make sure your oil comes back up to temperature though before you start again. Um, I just rubbed a little bit of the spicy hot breader on my venison, sprinkled, sprayed it with a little bit of olive oil and then put it on my grill and just grilled it till it was like medium to medium rare. And then just slice it and you have a great dish. It's a little bit different and kind of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the spicy venison on a straw, on a bed of straw hush puppies or hush, pu hush puppy straws. And I look forward to seeing you next time here on Simple Cooking. <laughs>